Well, let's get into this and put it in perspective. We've been joined by Alhaji Inusa Fuseni. He's former member of parliament for Tamale Central, former minister for lands and natural resources. Thank you so much for your time on Joy News Desk. Thank you for having me. Right. So let's begin from this constitutional review. Now, according to the documents that have been um, sent, or the documents circulating round, it looks like, as, well, let me take your view on this. As former member of parliament and minister, what is your general opinion on the proposal by the constitution review, a consultative meeting to amend key provisions of the 1992 constitution? Uh, so thank you. Uh, we've been practicing the constitution for uh, about 30 years now, and there are certain provisions in the constitution that clearly call for uh, a relook uh, because the constitution is failing to deliver the promise made to us in the preamble mm. uh, to create equality of opportunity for all Ghanaians and prosperity. And so we need to look at the institutional mechanisms that we have put into the constitution to deliver same. Uh, the institutions, the framework, and all those things. And so uh, the constitution has come up for review and, and some provisions uh, must uh, be tweaked in such a way as to ensure that uh, the promise of the Fourth Republic is delivered. In terms of tweaking some of the provisions, the committee is suggesting that members of parliament who are appointed as ministers should resign from parliament. Do you believe this is necessary to maintain the separation of powers or would it weaken parliamentary oversight um, over the executive? So yes, you've asked the same question. I mean, uh, the separation of powers, the principle of separation of powers, uh, uh, says that uh, uh, no, no one institution must have an overbearing influence on another institution so as to compromise the rights and liberties of an individual in the state. Now, the hybrid constitution that is the fulcrum of our, uh, I, I mean, our uh, democratic exp ex experiment is in Article 78.1 which says that the president can appoint a, a, a majority of his ministers from parliament. That creates the fusion. Now, so that provision imbibes aspects of the Westminster type of uh, uh, government and the pres strictly presidential type of government. Now, what we've realized is that when it suits us, we defer, we lean towards the Westminster one form or the other. Now, Ghana is only one of a few countries that is practicing this kind of system. And, uh, we realized that the Article 78 has uh, worked to weaken Parliament uh, in its oversight responsibility over the executive. Did you say it's uh, working to weaken Parliament? Yes, it's worked to weaken Parliament. That, How that's do you the mean by that? The, 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 what I mean by that is that because the president draws from Parliament and the prospect of a member of Parliament occupying the, uh, I mean, trans, uh, I mean, transitioning to the the executive, you will see that uh, Parliament, as presently constituted, is failing its, in its responsibility to hold the executive accountable. Mm. And so uh, that clearly means that if Parliament is, is unable, unwilling to hold the executive accountable, that institution, which is a critical bulwark for democracy, uh, is failing. And is failing.